guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I don't know what it is with these claps. Today we're going to be talking about um, family history, basically, and not in the way that you think, more um, extended family. And, and when your life gets really busy and then, oh, I don't even know how to explain this, okay? Here's the deal. Um, I got a phone call and next month, um, potentially we're going to be getting together with some extended family that I haven't seen in oh, 30 years. Okay. And it was really weird to me. I, <laughs> I had an idea to make a completely different video, but this came into my mind and, and I just was like, wow, 30 years. And I, I started thinking, like, isn't it amazing how, you know, you go on with your life and you have all these things. And as you guys know, like, I got a lot going on right now. Not bad, but, you know, like everybody else, like, your lives are busy and full and kids and parents and things and work and all that. And then when... When I got this phone call, it was like all of a sudden mentally slamming on the brakes because I thought, wow, I just became really aware that so much time has gone by and that, yeah, like I'm kind of curious what's been happening with these people for 30 years because goodness knows, like there's been a whole lot of stuff that's happened with me and and the rest of my family so I can only imagine you know what's been happening with them and it just really made me stop and think that maybe something to look forward to in 2019 is making a point to try and be more aware of you know, maybe making that phone call when you think about it or shooting off that text when you think about it because um, 30 years is a long time, you know, and especially when in a lot of ways, when, when you have to sit back, because, you know, in families, there's always issues and stuff going on. When you have to sit back as a family member and you don't even know why um, like rifts in families or whatever happens, um, then maybe those are things that are other people's problems and not yours. You know, like it really, it really came to me today that you know, in our situation, all of the things are regarding people that have long passed away. So why are these things carried on generation after generation? And you wonder how much of that behavior is because you have something to do with it. Or how much of it is just taught and learned. Something to think about. But I can tell you that I am looking forward to seeing what these people have been up to for the last 30 years. And the reason that I'm not saying names is because I would like to protect their privacy. Um, because again, I haven't seen them in 30 years. I don't know what they do even. So guys, I just wanted to come on and tell you about this. And I wanted to pose the question to you. Um, have you ever had a family squabble? that has gone on for generations and you 
you you're one of the people in the family that sit back and you don't even know why you just know that it was just curious no insulting no need to put in the comments what the squabble was just a simple yes or no will do okay so you guys have a great evening i will see you tomorrow and like i tell you i love you like mad bye for now